So we've just got one dependency to install. Back to BLFS. Um, did I delete Fluxbox? I didn't. Okay, so this is straightforward again. Copy. Okay, what's happened there? Oh, it's libio. I've extracted the wrong. Libio. A subtle difference of one letter. Right, so configure and make. So it's done. Install the package and some documentation by the looks of it. And that's done. So libio chapter 42. Done. Now we can go to Ice WM. Okay, that looks like that's uh, a link to a web page because it wasn't a tarball. All oh, right, okay, so it's not found. Okay, so again, I'm going to fall back to the um, Oregon State University FTP site. And we want uh, ice WM. There it is. There two seven O is the one we want. So that's fine. Okay, so let's now build this uh, enable LTO on, and it's required for this package. That's um, unusual. So we'll build this and install it when it's completed. Okay, so that's built. Now let's make install. And that's complete. Um, configuration, I guess again, I should have stayed in there really. Um, again, if you want to use it as a single session, it's the only one you want to use, you've only built it, then you can run this command to put it into X in the RC again the same as way as we've done with uh, TWM um, so now we create some configuration files and again these are only for the user they're not system configuration um, you can edit these files to meet requirements in particular review the preferences file you can use logout restart ISWM on the main menu to load your change preferences um, you can either modify the traditional menu files to suit your requirements or use the new ISWM menu FDO described later. So it goes on to explain about it. Um, and we can do similar to Fluxbox, create a, a default menu that looks at it here. Um, oh no. 
Kaj bi rekel? So if you take this way, you need to rerun the front one after you. After installing, oh right, okay, after installing and removing programs, so any subsequent programs we install won't come up in ISWM unless you run this command, is what it's saying. So I'll run that now. Um, and hopefully it'll pick up some files. If you want to put icons on your desktop, you need to install programs such as Rocks Filer, which provides a pinboard. If you do that, you'll no longer be able to access the menu by right clicking on desktop. You'll have to use the ISWM button. To ensure that Rocks pinboard is running, the following commands will need to be put, up, put in the startup file. So I haven't installed that yet. I think that's part of the GNOME installation. Um, so again, these are things to consider if you do want to use ISWM. There's some shortcuts there, some tips. So I'm not going to test ISWM. Rather than keep, keep on switching backwards and forwards, I'm just going to mark that off as complete and move on and install Openbox and then Sawfish and then test ISWM, Openbox and Sawfish all in one go. It would be a lot simpler, I think. So I'll shut that down. I've marked it off in Chapter 27. Go back to the main book. In fact, I'll just open both of these up, ready to build. So I'll first tidy this up. And we haven't got any dependencies required for this one, so save link as. So for Xorg, is, Xorg prefix is not user tells GCC about it. Well, it isn't. I've been using the opt. So we can double check that. So it's not in user. So we do need to run this. If you only installed the Python 3 PAYXDG model, module, convert one of the scripts to Python 3. Right, I can't remember what we did with this actually. Looks like we probably did. So we do need to run that fix there. So I'm not sure if that's... Oh, it's the diffs that it's putting out, right, okay. And then we can install it with these commands. There's no extra information about other options. So we'll just copy and paste that. Okay, it's built. Let's install it. And configuration. Open boxes, right click menu can be used to launch programs. The menu itself is configured with two files. To make changes to the menu, copy and edit it. So it looks like we need to copy that menu file there. There's something about icons. About themes there. Again, starting open box. Um, there's an X in it you can set. If you want to set the background image, it tells you how to do that. And a variety. And if you have the number, number lock key you set when you start Xorg. Um, yeah, so it's basically just showing you different ways of configuring things for Openbox. So that's done. 
mark that off and go to do sawfish now. So we've got one dependency requirement here and that's got its own dependency. It seems like a lot of these known packages are wrappers for real libraries. Um, seems to be the case with this one. So we'll save this link. Uh, lib rep. So configure and make. And we'll install it now. And that's done. So that's chapter 13 programming. Lib wrap. And now rep gtk and again simple copy and paste of the commands And install it. And that's done. And that's chapter eleven. Rep GTK. So now we've got sawfish can be built. So this is a tarball and a patch. Okay, why is that not coming down? Alright, oh, it's the Linux from Scratch website down. I wonder that's not actually saving. Yeah, it hasn't downloaded anything. Um, I'll see if we can get it from the Oregon State University. So, sawfish. Uh, sawfish, no, there's no patches there. Uh, let's go to the parent directory. Try this conglomeration. No, there's nothing there. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. And it's a required patch as well. Um, let me see if I can actually get into the right here. Yeah, looks like the Linux from Scratch website's down. Let's see what the patch actually does. 
All oh, right, yeah, it's definitely required if it adapts it to build with GCC 10. Um, let's see if we can search for it on the internet. Oh, there it is, it's come to life. Okay, so save that. Um, better view it, I suppose, in case it's just a That's it. Alright, okay, what's happening here? Alright, oh, it's because I've clicked on links several times. Um, there should be the uh, patch isn't downloaded. Okay, so it looks like there is still problems. So what I'm going to do is just highlight the name of the patch and see if we can search for it. So we're in sources BLFS. I'll do save. All oh, right, it has downloaded now. Let's take a look at it. Yes, that's good. It's, it's actually come down. Okay. Right, so let's extract it. Oh. One dot. No. Sawfish underscore. Okay, so patch and configure and make. And make install. And that's it. So, um, as you can see, there's uh, configuration details for Xenit RC if you're using that. Otherwise, I'll tidy this up. And mark that off as complete now. In 27. So what I'll do now is I'll quit this and oh, it's still trying to download stuff, unfortunately. Um, I'll stop that. That's why it's not letting me quit. Right, that's better. Control D to quit that. Log out of the user. Log into root. In it's five. So tested flux box. The next one I want to test is ice WM. Um, SWM session. There's two there. Some of these will work depending on what other applications you've got. So you can see there's a open box for GNOME there. Um, maybe I should use this SWM here actually. Some will work and some won't. You just have to try to see which whichever suits your installation. So there's SWM. We've got a clock. We've got some CPU graphs here and memory graphs I think they are yeah memory CPU load and that's the network um, it's got some desktops it's got a link to the browser here let's see which one comes up Firefox even though it's not default um, got a link to an X terminal presume yeah Windows list show the desktop and uh, 
kind of like a Windows 95 type menu. So you can see that all seems to work as well. Um, a couple of games there, the looks of it. Uh, Office, we've got LibreOffice. Yeah, it's even created separate um, menu links depending on what type of uh, application it is. So that's quite good. Let's just load one up. Let's load the spreadsheet this time. And I'll load up <coughs> the numeric as well. So, yeah, that loads fine. Video. M player, media player, that looks fine. Utility text editor, Vim. I'm not sure what highlight is. Let's run it and see. Code, code to format a text converter. Okay. So, yeah, that looks like that's all working correctly. Yep, happy with that. So, close these all down. And try the next one. Delete this one, or close this one down. Yep. Log out. Looks like that would have closed all all the sessions anyway. So that's tested okay. Next one I'm going to test is open box. So this one is quite a basic uh, desktop. Again, it's a right clip right click and you get a menu coming up uh, looks like we've got all oh no. oh, right it's trying to load some gnome applications that haven't been built yet so, yeah so none of these will work because they're all gnome applications uh, um, don't know if gvim work yes it has uh, the I haven't got a emacs gedit i think is a gnome edit editor and k and k right or kd editors so they won't work gimp should work um, Gwen view again that's part of KDE and so on so only certain things here are going to work looks like we've got all the open office but they don't work so maybe the links need tweaking on that let's try right and no, none of them work unfortunately so that might be something to have to um, manipulate yourself again all of these are installations as part of KDE or GNOME M player should work obviously we've tested that already File managers, same thing again. We haven't got any of these installed, so the menu is not quite as clever as what we've seen so far. Um, it could be that option. Oh no, we did overwrite the menu system, didn't we? We run that option for the KDE GNOME. So yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. Um, but obviously, if you want to use OpenBox, then I'm sure you'll get stuck into configuring it. So that's open box. Uh, last one we've got to test is sawfish. Um, so it'll be that one there. And this one it said you've got a center click to get the menu up. Um, and again, similar sort of thing. Um, looks like it's only detected the programs that are actually installed on the system yeah so it looks a bit more user friendly um, programs let's try another office one yep that works fine Let's 
let's try Inkscape. Yep, that looks fine as well. Okay. So those are the four window managers that are in the BLFS book. There are others, um, but they're the ones that uh, are available. Uh, kill window, is it? No. How do we quit this session? Quit Sawfish. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my virtual terminal on F1. Go back to init3 and log out of root. Go back into kernel text and resume building 